Hi, today we're going to be installing the Kiko KeyFit 30. I'm Sarah and I'm a CPST who reviews car seats to help make your search easier. So, this is a rear facing only infant carrier seat and max is at 30 pounds, 30 inches or less than one inch above the baby's head. So if you hit one of those maxes, baby has outgrown it. Make sure you check out my review on the seat and I am going to show you how to install it. Okay, so there are three ways. There is latch, seat belt, or baseless. All right, and you cannot use latch and seatbelt at the same time with the seat. All right, this is what the base looks like that comes with the seat. Um, you can also use the KeyFit 35 base with the seat, but you would have to buy that separately. So it does have our manual right in here. This, this door right here opens, but we're just going to go through how to install it. Make sure you read your manual when you get it. All right, so I'm going to take my... I took my latch out. It's in this little hole right here on both sides. Um, to do to loosen it, you just pull up on this orange tab right here, and then you pull out on the side. And this is how you tighten it right here. So I'm going to locate my latch. I'm going to locate how to make my stapler face up, okay? And I just clip it on. It's not actually a stapler, but it looks like a stapler, so that's why I call it that, because it's easy to um, figure out the fat side of the staplers up when you use the stapler the fat side of the latch connector um, the lower anchor connector is also the same way all right so you just pull up on this and then you tuck the excess into the little hole it came out of side to side front to back um, just at the belt path is where you check you're not going to check out here it is going to move out here that's how it's supposed to work Side to side, front to back, does it move more than one inch? This is installed. The um, carrier would then get clicked in. Make sure you check your bubble. Um, I've installed this many times in my car because this is the seat that I use with my kids. So I know that my car, this is um, what works, but the bubble is right next to the line right here. Now, to loosen it, you just pull up on this, pull it out. I also checked my overhang. There's less than 20% overhang. This is just a regular mid-size SUV. It fits well in it. To store my latch, I'm gonna put it in here. And I'm gonna put this one in here. And then I'm going to pull up, tighten, and store my excess so that there's nothing hanging out, okay? Something else that you might wanna be aware of is these orange buttons pop out the recline foot. In my car, the recline foot does not is not helpful. So out, there's like a middle level, like right, oops right there, or no recline, which is what works for my car. So you need to make sure that you get your bubble in the level lines. Um, you can use the recline to help you do that. And it's, um, I really like that aspect about the seat. So make sure my base is flat against the seat. Same thing for the seat belt. I'm going to run my seat belt through this hole across here where it says vehicle belt path and down through this hole. And then I'm going to tighten it across it. And then I'm going to put my shoulder belt um, through this orange lock off on the side that I'm on. There's also one on this side. So like if I was putting this, the seat in the middle seat here where my seatbelt comes down on this side or that seatbelt, then I would be using this lock off. And I'm gonna show you how to use the lock off actually. So in a minute. So for this side, I'm just gonna put it through, put it on. You can see from your direction, I'm gonna lock it off, pull or not lock it. You don't lock the seatbelt. I'm gonna pull it tight. I'm gonna put the seatbelt through the lock off and I don't lock the seatbelt. Side to side, front to back, doesn't move less than one inch, this is installed. Take it out. I'm just going to take it out of the lock off, unbuckle and go. Now I wanna show you, I'm going to take my seatbelt up in the middle. Same thing, okay? It goes down through here over my vehicle belt path, as you can see. I did that one because that seatbelt is black, so it's just easier for you to see. Lock it, pull up here so that my lap belt is tight, and then all I'm doing is I'm threading it through this orange thing right here, okay? And pulling it as far back in as it will go, and then it's in the lock off. I did not lock my seatbelt, it's still loose. Side to side, front to back, now it's installed in my middle seat. Now my middle seat's a little shorter, so I'm gonna wanna check that I still have less than 20% um, overhang, which is the overhang that the seat allows. There is no markings on the base, which is definitely a con, but most um, mid-size SUVs, most regular cars like are gonna fit this just fine. The seats are pretty deep. 
um, when you run into the problems is usually like pickup trucks and stuff um, where they don't have full back seats. Now, this is installed in my metal, check my bobble, um, make sure it's installed and it actually is off the line right there. It's off, right on this side. So that is something to pay attention that my metal seat is not even. So what I would need to do then is uninstall and try it at a different recline to get my bubble in. Okay. So now I'm going to take my base out and it actually shows you right here how to install the base. Also on these stickers, make sure you read your manual all the way through. It says front of vehicle right here. It shows you how to do a lap belt, a lap shoulder belt or latch, which allows all of those installs. Now, here is our carrier. If you are going to take this seat on an airplane, you're gonna to need to know how to do a baseless install because the seat is FAA approved. The base is not. And maybe when you get to your destination, you may not wanna just, just leave your base at home and use your seat baseless. Then you have a car seat at your destination as well. So that's helpful. Um, the seat allows the handle to be in any locked position in the US. So up, back, or down. Something to keep in mind is that back like this is going to take up more room um, with your front seat so that your seat is not going to have as much room um, in the car uh, or your front seat is not gonna have as much room. So that is something to keep in mind because it cannot be um, bracing the front seat. So I like to keep it up because then it's ready in carry position, um, but this is also an option that saves space front to back. Now for baseless install though, I'm just gonna put it up here so you can see everything I'm talking about. Right here on both sides, it shows you um, lap belt, shoulder belt, um, baseless install. Actually right there I think is the base. These are the base pictures. The um, shoulder belt or the um, baseless are down here. This is the English side, the Spanish side is where I am. It does have your level line on both sides, which is super helpful because if I'm on this side, I can look at this level line and you make it level with the ground when it's baseless. When it's in the base, you focus on the base being level. Okay, because that will get the carrier at the right level. So we're gonna put it in here, make sure that it's level to the ground. Um, baby would probably be in the seat when you're doing baseless just because it makes it easier. Um, you don't have to put them in. If you're putting it in the base, then that's not necessarily true. So you put the seat belt, um, just the lap belt through this hook and this hook, and then you're gonna bring it over and buckle. And for this install, you are going to lock the seat belt. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten it as much as I can. And I'm going to pull this out while I'm holding it tight with my other hand. And you hear that clicking in, I have locked it. This has, um, the seat belt locks up here. Sometimes they lock at the latch plate down there and then you just need to worry about the lap belt being locked. Um, and the, so you need to know how the seat belts in your car lock. If you're going to a different country, you're gonna wanna get a locking clip because the seat belts may or may not lock. Um, side to side, it is moving too much so I'm going to tighten it again. All right, made sure it went in a couple more clicks, side to side, front to back, not moving more than one inch. Make sure my level line is still level with the ground, which it kind of went off a little bit, so I'm gonna change that so that it is. And the seat is installed baseless again. I can put the carrier handle back up here if I want to save space, I can put it down here. I just want you to see, be able to see on the sides here. Now, to undo it, I just unbuckle, pull my seatbelt out, and I can take my carrier and go. Again, I'm Sarah, I'm a CPST who reviews car seats to help make your search easier. This was the install video for the Kiko Keyfit 30. Make sure you check out my uh, review video as well on YouTube and I will have a, a mini review up on my Instagram as well at the Car Safe Kids.